I've always had a very close bond and relationship with my brothers and my family. Um, and it broke my heart to see what I was doing to them, really. So that took me into a, a place of being outside of myself. On top of that, I had eight friends that killed themselves. And um, it was also a driving factor to think, well, maybe I can find a way to help my buddies, too. So between wanting to have my family and then also maybe have an opportunity to save some lives, um, there wasn't just no way you could quit. It was a lot of faith, a lot of hard work, a lot of trial and error. Um, you know, for me, was, there was a lot of disappointment uh, in having profound hope in some of these therapies and then feeling like you got let down. Um, so it was, it kind of was a roller coaster ride. Um, for me, I went to school for psychology after I got out of the military to try to figure out what's going on with me. And um, I think that gave me a platform for understanding what therapies were doing, like what the point of them were. So I tried to get different modalities under my belt just to kind of give me tools that I could use in my day-to-day -day life. And even though not one of them was necessarily the end-all, be-all kind of a thing, they did give me valuable resources so that when my anxiety was spiking, I could center myself or focus or apply different techniques. So, um, and I took breaks, you know, after a therapy, I would just see how it worked and try to apply what I had learned from that and things would get bad again and then I would try to find another therapy and um, a lot of it came down to luck <laughs> in the end um, with finding modalities that, that were actually effective and being able to relay to my friends, you know, this worked for me, this didn't work for you. And that's kind of another interesting thing within the space is there's not really one pill, there's not one treatment that's going to work for everybody. What works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So um, perseverance and hope, I think, are what you really have to hold on to in that journey. This video was produced by Brainline, thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.